Hello, everybody. I am doing a non scheduled <laughs> live stream. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, uh, but I'm going to wait just a second for a few people to hopefully join. And uh, for those of you watching later, I'm doing a, I think it's called like a dip technique. And I have a link in my uh, description for um, the inspiration. And I think I have a few other uh, channels that I will uh, link as well. But welcome, you guys. If you're joining, um, we are just going to do something fun and uh, yeah, experiment with the dip technique, I believe it's called. So just going to wait just a second more. Hopefully somebody will pop in. And if you can, if you're here, there's only a few people, but um, let me know if you can hear me and see me okay. And for those of you watching later, I have uh, all of the supplies in the description as well. And I'm really enjoying uh, working with the acrylic paint, as you could see, <laughs> my hands. Hey. <laughs> I scrap in for my boys. I believe you told me your name at some point but I can't remember, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, Natasha. And I'm sorry for the sniffling, I'm not feeling the greatest, but I was um, wanting to create something and I have all of these uh, acrylic paints on my desk that I mixed for that pour that I did the other day. And um, so I thought I'd try this new technique and yeah, I really, really like how it turned out and it's so simple and you can get so many impressions with, I think, a, I mean, a little bit of paint, but not, I don't think as much as a pour because I feel, for me anyways, I'm wasting so much paint <laughs> with a pour. But this is one of the ones that I did. I have quite a few, so let me show you. They're right behind me. I got this one. Hello, Donna. Okay, Monica. <laughs> so there's that one. This one was the first one. And then, because it's very concentrated, very vibrant colors. Um, and then the other ones after were, um, let me see. And then I have this one. I'm hoping it'll self-level, which I think it will. Um, but I have a little bit of cells in there, kind of different. I wanna maybe get some of this down to the edge of there, but I'll do that in a minute. And I did make the paint a little bit thicker. All right, and this one, um, I didn't think would turn out that great because I didn't, gesso or prime the wood and it's soaking in as you could see. Um, but I had so much paint left over that I, it's not focused, uh-oh. I have the autofocus off so it might not focus completely. Um, but yeah, I think the circle ones would be really cool, but I should have gessoed and primed the wood first because it is soaking in. All right. <clears throat> Let me move this one. 
Okay, so I have, whoops, just these little canvases here. And we're gonna work with these. I have some press and seal on my um, mat here, or what's this called? I feel my brain is so foggy. I need to take some allergy medicine. I think it's just allergies, but I hate taking medicine. All right, I'm just going to open these up all at once. Has anybody tried this before? You know what? The lady that I first saw this was Ann Osborne. And um, she actually did use... I think she like Velcroed some sort of like handle on a smaller canvas like this and was smushing in to a bigger canvas. And it was really cool. So, um, but I do have another channel linked in down below. Um, all right, let's set these aside. Yes, the dip I feel you waste maybe a little bit less because you can just continue to kind of get all of that um, paint up. And then even when it's like a very thin layer, because you start off with a thicker layer, you can use paper and pick up all of that paint as well. And then, or even um, a gel plate, and then you can use those for um, art journaling or something. All right. Oh, I have my... This is just a, a white acrylic paint with some uh, Floetrol. And I am not the greatest at mixing. Uh, I still am learning, so um, I don't know um, the measurements or anything. Um, but I, uh, all of the supplies like these and then like these little containers and stuff I have in the description box. Um, and again, I have some press and seal. So what you're gonna do is, well, this is a smaller area, so you're just going to lay down some of this white paint. And let me get my popsicle stick. There we go, just make it a little bit larger. And a little bit more. All right. Let's see. Let me get a little closer. Um, I'll use the same colors, but I'll add a little bit of yellow this time. Um, let's see. Where is my... All right, I had to grab some more popsicle sticks. So I was filming a video and my battery died and then I wanted to do some of these smaller ones. So I decided just to hop on and do a live. So you make sure that this will, yeah. Just add a little bit. I kind of just want it to be in the center, so I'm just gonna add it towards the center. And some people do like like circles. Um, there's all sorts of different things that you could do. All 
I should get larger popsicle sticks. All right, then we're gonna add a little bit of this pink. And let's see, maybe a little bit of this yellow. Just a tad. And all of these paints are mixed with the Floetrol. There's gonna be some green in there. This one might turn out actually pretty cool. I'm gonna add a little bit of the purple. Okay. All right. I'm going to add a thin-ish layer of the paint on here. Just kind of wipe it around with my finger. All right. Then I'm going to add a little bit of white in here as well. All right. And you take it, this would be good if you had uh, thicker canvases. I'm actually going to, where did I put my paint chisels? All right, I'm just gonna wipe some of that paint off my hand so I don't get too much everywhere. All right, so you kind of smush it down. And then you go like side to side, just a tad. And then back and forth, and then you lift up slowly. And then we'll see what we got. So it's kind of cool. And then you can also, let me see where my, um, because there's so much paint on here, you can move it around with a straw. And then, let me see here, how am I gonna do this? I have my torch here, but I don't wanna torch it on the plastic. Hmm. Well, we'll do that after I'm done. So I'm gonna set this one aside, and then we're gonna do another one. I wanna add a little bit more white to the center. Then again, we're gonna Fill that up. Oh, thanks, Donna. <laughs> it's really, really simple and it's really fun. It's really relaxing. And it's definitely out of my comfort zone to add so many different colors. Um, but I really enjoy it. All right. Next one. I'm just going to plop it on there. Smoosh it down. And 
And we're going to try to get under here. Again, it is a little hard because they're so thin, but we're just gonna rock it just a little bit. Not too much that you're mixing it completely together. And there's that one. That one's kind of cool. I don't really like this here, so I'm just gonna take some of this white paint. I think if I All right. Yeah, this one's really cool. I just wanted a little bit of the color to move down to the sides here. This one's really cool. All right, set that one there. I think I'm getting paint. I am getting paint on my lips. All right. Um, let's do another one. I'm curious to see if I don't add any paint to here. Let's see if I do like this. I'm gonna smush this down. And make sure to get this edge over here. And this one over here. <laughs> All right, whoops, I just smeared that everywhere. All right, let's see what it looks like because I did smear it everywhere. That one's more of like a lighter color, <laughs> more wispy. I moved it really a lot so um but i still like that all right i'm running out of space all right let me put that here all right um put this one here I'm gonna add more paint here. And at this point, you can take your gel plate or something and um, get up all of that color so you're not wasting it. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try a little bit here. Hi, Davida. I think you gave me what you got the other day. It transferred through the stream. <laughs> Not feeling too great. Um, a little bit of pink. And I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow. This is really bright, very out of my comfort zone. All right. Um, I think that's it. I know, I can't rest. <laughs> I should be though. All right, I'm gonna add more here. And then I'm gonna add some to here this time. I 
And you know, before I never really had any acrylic paints. So I did go and spend quite a bit of money on acrylic paints. Uh, but I think I definitely need to find a cheaper option. I did get some of the more expensive color or brands like the Deco Art Premium. These ones, these were like four or five dollars each. Um, and I just feel like I'm using way too much to justify spending all of that, you know? All right, so we're gonna, I want it kind of in the, but I don't want all of that blue. All right, well, I guess we'll see what we get. Plop it down and smoosh. Is there any cheaper brands that you guys like? Maybe I can get on Amazon or something. Because I live an hour away from anything. So. All right. So we smoosh. Then we kind of rock it a little bit. Not too much. And let's see what we get. Ooh, that one's really cool, actually. I really like that one, actually. I'm gonna add more white up here. Hey, Karen. I know I really like the yellow. I wish it was more like mixed in. Um, I'm wondering, no, I don't wanna, hmm. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna try something here. If I know where my, whoops, my gel plates are. All right, I am getting paint everywhere. I just can't get any on my, my carpet. <laughs> Whoops, all right. We are going to pick up some of this paint maybe and plop it down on this other side. Well, you guys can't see. Give me just a second and I'll try to, I'm trying to think how I'm gonna do this. You know what I have? Give me one second. I'm going to get something really quickly. Oh, you know what? I think it might be here. Uh, no. All right. I'm going to grab a, uh, a stamp block with a handle. I just remember where it is. I have a huge one, but I don't need a big one. Sorry, you guys, for leaving you. I'm right here trying to, it is in my closet. <sighs> course. I swear I just saw them somewhere and now I can't find them. Hmm. Come on. I'm still here, guys. Sorry. I know they're here somewhere and it's going to make it so much easier.
This is gonna make, drive me crazy, you guys. All right, oh well. I was hoping to find my, I have like three or four uh, stamp blocks with handles from Prima and I can't find them anywhere. Anyways, all right, let's see if this will work. I don't know how I'm gonna get it up, but we're gonna try it. Let me move these. Move this. Move this one. All right, uh, the light is kind of washing it out a bit. Um, let's see. I pick some of that up, smoosh it down over here. All right, didn't turn out how I wanted it to, but um, worth a try, I think. I think I ruined what I liked over here on this one. I'm gonna take this one. I'm such a mess, you guys. All right, and smush this down here whoops okay this is a big mess i need i need that this would work so good if i had my handle or my um what's it called the stamp block with the handle it would work so good i need to find it because i think it would really really work well all right, sorry you guys. All right, there's another one. I'm mad that I messed this one up. It was a good idea. <laughs> uh, oh well, all right. I'm going to I think I might keep one of these and then, um, or two of them. I'm going to clean my gel plate off a bit. All right. And let's move this out of the way. This is the Tim Holtz glass mat, so I'm not worried about getting anything on it because it cleans up so easy. I just want to move this away because I'm going to use my torch to bring up some more cells. All right. Of course, I moved my trash way far away. All right, this is another hot mess live with Tiffany. Are you guys still with me or did everybody leave me? <laughs> oh boy. All right, we are going to use the torch. Hopefully it works. Just a little bit, just to get some of those cells coming up. I really like this one. This one's really pretty. I wish you guys can see it in person. All right, so I like this one quite a lot as well. I'm going to use my um, straw to kind of move it a little bit more this way.
right. But this one has some really, really cool colors in it. You guys can see that. Looks really, really cool. All right, I think everybody left me, so um, I'm going to say goodbye. And it was fun just kind of playing around. And um, I do have a video where I will explain a little bit more um, where I did these bigger ones. These ones. <laughs> And if you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you guys later.